This video was brought to you by GrowBlackHair.net, a black woman's guide to growing longer, stronger, more beautiful and healthy hair. Hello YouTube, it's me Samaya from GrowBlackHair.net and today I wanted to address an issue that I've been reading about online and I haven't really seen too many videos about this on YouTube. I think I've only seen one video about this issue on YouTube and the issue is something that a lot of people refer to as scab hair and from what I read about scab hair, scab hair is hair that has been affected by a relaxer, or years of relaxers that you've been putting your hair and it's the hair under the scalp that hasn't came out yet and once a woman decides to go natural the first bit of hair, uh, one to three inches of hair that grow out of her scalp is scalp is scab hair and this this hair it tends to be dry it tends to be um, rough wiry unresponsive to any type of manipulation whatsoever and that's what makes transitioning really really hard because a lot of women make the mistake to um, assume that this hair is their actual hair texture and it's not and when I read about this, um, when I first decided to do the big chop, I didn't really know if it was true or not because I've never seen any pictures or any like real proof. I just heard people talking about it. And I remember when I first cut my hair on the sides, like in this area and in this area, the hair did not look like the rest of the hair. It was extremely dry and it was wiry and rough. And I thought that was just the way my hair was. And I know when I wore kinky curly, those certain sections of my hair wouldn't respond to the kinky curly or just stay that way, no matter how much I applied to it. Over time, you know, I grew my hair out. My hair was shoulder length. And this weekend, I decided to blow dry my hair out and straighten it. And I wanted to, because I'm getting married in five days, and I wanted to see how long my hair was going to be. So I can know how I was going to style it. And I noticed when I blow dry my hair, I used a ceramic blow dryer. All my hair was really smooth except for at least an inch and a half to almost two inches of hair. At the ends was it was like bird nest. That's what I can, I, I don't know what else to say what it looked like. That's what it looked like to me. It was bird nest, it was dry. It wouldn't respond to the blow dryer. When I used the um, flat iron, they wouldn't respond to that either. The rest of all my hair was silky except for the ends. So I went online and I Twittered it at first and asked people if they, you know, if this has happened to them and I took pictures to show them the difference in the hair. And one person said that that type of hair is unresponsive and I need just need to cut it off. Um, a couple people did not know what I was talking about at all or never experienced it. And then one lady, she tried to say that my ends was must have been extremely dry but you know as well as I knew if you're a follower of my videos and on my site you know how much I stress moisturizing my hair and how diligent I am in moisturizing my hair and my ends so I know it could not have been dry hair so I asked her about um, when she did her big chop did she experience it as well and then when she told me yes but she said that she had dreads prior to that so that is the reason why maybe your hair was dry because you're dreads but you can't really um, think that you can relate to my situation because I was kind of my, coming out of a relaxer I wasn't natural before I did my big chop so with that said I did some more research and I found out other women was experiencing what I was experiencing and the hair on the ends of my hair was um, exactly what they described wiry, rough, dry, unresponsive I ended up cutting all that hair off I probably have less than half an inch of a little bit of it left in my hair and I just figured that I'll just leave it there because I don't want my hair to be too short so I'm just going to leave it there and as my hair grow in the next couple months when I do my trims I'll just cut it all off but my hair since I've done that um, feels much more healthier I washed my hair I didn't have too much shedding um, it was really easy to detangle Another thing I noticed is the scab hair tends to have the fairy knots in it. Now, I don't know if my natural hair, my actual texture is going to be fairy knot like that, but it was a lot of knots in that scab hair. 
So I think even removing the scab here would reduce the fairy knots too. I might still get them. I really don't know. But um, from what I seen, that's where all the knots were. It was all in that hair that was not like the rest of my hair. So the conclusion of this video, scab hair is real. It actually is real. And everybody may not experience it. Um, some people may not notice it. Some people may not experience it at all. I guess it depends on how long you wore a relaxer in your hair. I started putting a relaxer in my hair when I was in ninth grade in high school. So, and I've been having a relaxer up until uh, December of last year. So, um, scab hair is real for some people. And I've also written an article on it. It's going to be published tomorrow on Monday about the scab hair. I'm going to show how it looks. The difference so if you want to go to my my uh, website growblackhair.net slash blog b l o g and it will have the article on there tomorrow and you I have pictures of how my hair looked when I blow dried and straightened it where you see it straightened and then you see that big difference where it's really 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 just burdness <laughs> and um I also took some pictures of the hair after I cut it off so you can see how much I had to remove from my hair. So women, are, your experiences, you're not alone. It, it is real. I mean, everybody may not experience it, but it is real. And that's basically it. So just tune in to my website tomorrow if you want to read more about it and see pictures of it. And I hope this video was a great help to you.